Hello, hello, Peak Freaks! Promise video! And I hope you're gonna, you're gonna be able to actually make this and save yourself. I think that's what it is. So how to prevent yourself from overeating at night time? I think all of us, all of us kind of experience this. And usually it happens, I would say, when because Friday night, Saturday night, or maybe Sunday night, when you kind of have that moment of relaxation, when you sit down with your family, you enjoy their companies, maybe you will be watching movies. Usually where is the moment that you're, you kind of, ah, the whole stress of the day is gone and you finally have that moment. But that's what happens sometimes is when we, when we so busy throughout the day, you not necessarily are hungry that much, right? You're not hungry a lot of times and you need to remind yourself that you need to eat. But especially the weekends, one eat why weekends, hello Ida. What why weekends? Because it's the time when we have more time. That's so simple. At least for us during the week we don't really watch the movies. That Monday through, through Thursday, we kind of read books, maybe play some games, very rarely. I mean, we've been doing a little bit different things just because of the fact that the kids are out of school. If they've been doing very good throughout the week, we would give them the rewards of watching the movies. But us, we get up so early, right? Hello. So how we can prevent ourselves? What is there are tricks? There are really tricks that you can do. I'm trying to fix that camera so it's totally stable. And I have to tell you from my experiences, from what happens to me. Don't feel like you are alone. Always think that somebody else is going through, hello, is going through the same thing. Never think that you are only one person in this world. Someone at the same time and somewhere else in the world might be going through the same things. So what is that we can do? We're learning those tricks. Like we're learning good foods. We're learning, hello, Marie, we're learning good supplements. We, we're learning things that are substitutes, the same thing that you can do with, with the evening. And this can serve you for years to come. So we were just talking, I was just talking to Ita how, how things happen to me or on the weekend. So first of all, make sure that you are eating good protein, that you're eating good enough of protein. Sometimes we will say, okay, but I had four or six ounces. Well, don't compare yourself to someone else because for you, you might require more protein than someone else. So I don't eat six ounces. I will eat 10 or 12 ounces of food. Why? Because I know myself that if I don't eat good food, that I don't eat enough, I'm going to be hungry. And what is going to happen? I'm going to go and eat more or I'm going to go and crave something else. So make sure that you're eating. Plus, make sure that you're drinking a lot of water because a lot of us, Forget that the thirst goes first before the hunger hits. But don't also think that because when you drink a lot of water, it's going to suppress the appetite. That's not the idea because that's starvation. We need to have good food. So make sure that on those days when you have that longer night, right? Friday night may be a longer night for us because we're hanging out. So if you, especially on a, on a challenge, you want to change your body, you want to stay focused, you want to stay good, you can't just go with the routines that you used to have because they're not going to work. You might force yourself and go to sleep, but is that really the way you want to live? And like, okay, bye friends. Now we don't really associate, but bye everybody. I'm just going to hit the bed because I'm afraid to eat or I'm afraid to watch the movie because I'm going to be snacking up popcorn on something else. That's not the way. I want to kind of read your comments here. Yes, yes, we are. Thank you so much. I hope all of you are doing doing well. I see Eric, you guys watching me. This is great. So I'm going to give you actually the steps what we need to do. First of all, make sure that you're having a good dinner, that you're not skipping no meals, that you're going to have that good dinner when you're going to have a good amount of protein, that you're going to have a good amount of salad or vegetables. It's okay to eat three hours later. That's fine. Drink your water. Stay on track. Maybe you want to watch a movie. So what you going to do? What you going to do? Here are the tips. So I already prepared some just to give you an idea. First of all, you need some molds. Make sure you have the molds. You can get them the BPA free. Make sure that are BPA free. That are not coming from sources 
that you don't want to really lick from. All right, so this has to be BPA free. Now here, what you see, they're just homemade. Right now here, this is a cookies and cream, cookies and cream protein shake. And why we love them, I just grab a different flavor. It doesn't matter. What you do, you take eight ounces of almond milk, cashew milk, hemp milk, and sweetened milk, something that you're not allergic to based on your preference. Make sure you're not using leggy raw milk because it's lactose, it's so much sugar. You're gonna put two scoops of the, of the protein inside. You're gonna blend it well, just like this. Shake it, don't put no ice. This, one serving will make for these molds, I'm gonna have eight of those, eight of those. So now think about it, you watch a movie, you want something, hmm, I want something sweet. I have a mood for something. Well, you might have a bar if, if you have protein bars, which is great, but sometimes you're gonna eat that bar and you crave something. Didn't that happen to you? It happened to me. Sometimes I ate two bars. I'm like, wait a second, that's 40 grams of carbs. I can't do that. That's not really good. And trust me, I had those. And, and it, it, I think it happened to all of us. However, there are people out there, they will say, okay, black is black, white is white, I am not doing this, this, and this, and they're very strict, and this is great. But majority, a lot of people cannot do that. Here and there, you're going to break. So I want to prevent you, prevent you, yourself, your family from doing the bad things. It requires a habit. Eventually, you're going to get into a mode of doing this. So when you crave something, think about this having this in your fridge. You pull too. Your tongue will be frozen. You lick this thing. This is all ice because that has the flavor inside, right? So how many can you really eat? How many? You're going to have two and you're going to be like, uh, enough. That's one way of doing just healthy meal in a form of ice pops. Now, what else we have done? This is a high protein iced coffee. And why I do this? Because first of all, this is not just a coffee that will keep you up. This has, this has... 15 grams of protein has only 100 calories. So I put two scoops right now here. What I do, I'm gonna shake this and I'm gonna put it right in front of you and we're gonna, well, we're gonna see how they're gonna actually, how they're gonna come out because I never did them before. So I'm putting, look, one, two, there is three, I spilled some, three, and there is another one, four. There we go. So four of those pops will come out. So think about it. Even if your friends would come eventually to your house, I'm not sure when, when they will come, but because it's frozen, you have less chance of eating too much. It's impossible. Like how many ice pops can you make? Don't buy the ice pops from the store because they, first of all, they have the not, not natural sh sugars. They're loaded with sugar. They're loaded with some nasty ingredients that you don't want to have. Plus, this is all homemade and it's safe. So what you need, whoo, you need these guys. These guys, you buy them from the store. They come in like sets of like 100 or 200. You put them inside. Then you put the covering of the mold and it stays straight. So you're going to eat two or three. That's max. So imagine 100 calories. And it's only in this one, there's 15 grams of protein. There's only five grams of carbs. And you're going to have four of those. You can't go wrong. Five grams of carbs comparing to maybe 20 grams of protein bar. Think about it. Those are the tricks that we need to do. Now, I've heard this before. I've heard from people that have been dieting, starving. Yes, the ice pop Amdia is awesome. They've been starving and they've been eating ice cubes. After 4 p.m., they don't eat. That's not the way to do it because if you're functioning, if you're bringing functioning, if you're watching a movie, doing things, and you just suck on ice, guess what? You, you, not, you got your protein, your pro, first of all, you're not delivering protein. So what happens is first source will gonna be your muscle. So you're gonna be using your own muscle as a form of energy. So eventually, you're gonna be skinny loose. You're gonna lose some weight, of course, you want starvation. Think about people that have been starring themselves, how they look like, but what's going to happen after? You can live like this for a long time, so eventually it's going to hit you. What's going to happen is you're going to start eating and you're going to gain the weight. So how to prevent ourselves? Do the ice puffs. Always have them in the fridge. Be prevent, like prevent yourself from it. So 
this is one thing. So we have the coffee, we have the healthy meal. You gotta find your own. Really, find the ones that you really love. Choose the flavor, 20 different flavors, you can't go wrong. What else we do? And always, Ivanka is helping me with this. I said to her, look, I'm just gonna show one and the rest is yours. You're gonna make them, she loves to make them. And when you have kids, huh, Nick? Your kid's gonna love to make them. That's the whole fun. So another thing for us to do at home. So, now, skin, the Collagen Beauty Booster. Yes, ladies, guys, you wanna look younger? Look at my skin. <laughs> Girls, Collagen Beauty Booster, love the lemon. I drink it every single day. Yes, 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 collagen has to be delivered from the inside, not just the outside. So what I do, I add the scoop, and I add this, beverage mix. Look guys, beverage mix, 70 calories. Now think about this, 70 calories, 15 grams of protein, and only two to three grams of carbs. These, it's gonna come out eight of them, eight of them. So I'm using 12 ounces of water, two scoops, eight ice pops. Who's gonna eat ice pop, eight ice pops, who? It's, it's just hardly, it's really hard to eat eight, eight, eight ice pops because your tongue will be all frozen. You're not gonna eat them. You trust me, unless if you eat, you better post on this video. I would love to know who ate eight of them and still feel hungry. So because they so loaded with protein, hi Paula, they gonna suppress your appetite. My friends, appetite first, number one appetite suppressant, it's not a water, it's protein. It's protein, remember this, pure lean protein. And because we've been, I've been, we've been using Herbalife for 11 years, we've tried in the back products for comparison here and there, I would buy it just to try it and taste and make sure that my Herbalife is number one. Yes, and it is, and it is. There is no other products that are so good. That's why I never stay, step away from the brand. You don't step away from something that you love. You don't step away and stop something that you just truly love. Don't do it. Even though you might have those little moments, oh, you know what, this might be cheaper, maybe this. No, this is all good nutrition that goes right into the cells of your body. So make yourself these pops today, freeze them, and you're gonna, me and Ivanka, hopefully they're gonna be made till the night time and we can just show you what we've done and how they gonna look like. Can't wait to see the iced coffee pops. They're gonna be so good. So again, just to remind you, choose your flavor. I can post the link. It's up to you. You might cookies and cream, maybe you want chocolate, maybe you want creme brulee, or maybe you want coffee flavor of this healthy meal. It's up to you. Don't forget, this one will have 80 milligrams of caffeine. So caffeine is another appetite suppressant, but obviously if you're staying at night, at night time, at night time, you want to have some caffeine, that's fine. It's just equivalent to a cup of coffee. That's it. So this one, and then eventually we did this. Obviously I don't give Ivanka the skin one. She has plenty of collagen in her beautiful six year old skin. So we do, do not do this for kids, but we can do this for ourselves, these two and the pop try difference the one by itself and one with this and you will taste the difference it's like you can taste the collagen that creaminess in it it's delicious so lemonade with this one is so good and i strongly believe that it's gonna save you when you're gonna be hanging out looking for something sweet looking for something healthy because popcorn, even if it's 100 calories, that's not a good finish of your day, a popcorn. Even though it's just only a few grams of carbs, that's not what your body will be craving at night time. It's not the popcorn. You want something good. So I hope you can make it. You don't have the products. Order them today, so that by next week they're going to be at your household. You're going to be a second week into the challenge, and it's going to help you. So any questions, please post it here. I'm going to post uh, I'm gonna post the link so it's right there there for you and of course you can purchase them right directly from our site if you look looking to get the 20% discount is going to be right here so follow the steps you can get your 20% discount and more by signing up as preferred membership 
I hope this was helpful. I, I see Ida. Thank you. Thank you for watching. First of all, I'm happy that I was able to help and that you're just gonna play around in your kitchen because we wanted to have these good habits. And remember, just regular shake goes along the way. I, we drink them, but sometimes we make the shake and we like, hmm, I would like something else. So maybe something that reminds you of just a regular ice cream would be the way to go, right? All right, with this said, have a no excuses Friday. Post after this video. I'm looking forward, and maybe next week, whoever is making these, make sure that you're posting those. Give your recipes. You might have an awesome recipe to share with us. So share it. And don't think that we're going to disappear on the weekend from this time. We're here all the time. We just love it. We love you all. It's a, it's a great community, and we can learn from each other right here. So have a great weekend. We'll talk to you soon. I will see you later. Big drinks, no excuses.